Hey, TikTok, do your magic. Please help me. Please share. Please spread this around because I may be heavily indebted for a school loan that for invalid degrees from an accredited facility. How could that possibly happen? It could happen like this. You could be in an honors program that was striving so hard for Gravitas that they eliminated their ability to give a regular degree. So that when I wrote a McNair thesis, the topic of which was um, making several far leftists very angry because it spoke of the Sami people, their loss of language, as secondary to the abuses that they endured, um, the genocide, the literal abuses that every other indigenous people have gone through. But for some reason, but because it was about indigenous Europeans, people were not comfortable helping me. So I had no mentor, I wrote it myself. So I finished this thing on uh, my own and uh, I submitted it to the McNair program and I was harassed secondary to that by people in the program and people in my honors department. And uh, because I got good grades and I've never been any kind of a disciplinary issue, I, what, what happened to me was a constructed thing, constructively trying to get rid of me by loading me up with so much work that it could not be feasibly done. And how they conned me into it the last semester of my bachelor's was to say, well, you went to two different colleges at the same time. On one Pell Grant, you got two different degrees. So now that you're done with the one, you should really be able to do all of this. So we're going to sign you up for two semesters of work in your last semester. So they signed me for two semesters of work, saying that, that was going to fast track me down the PhD lane, which was the hook, right? And uh, there was no way to do that amount of work and the time that I had. It's two semesters worth of work in one semester and a capstone. So yes, I was stupid to trust this person to think that they were advising me correctly, but maladvisement is a whole different thing. And the fact that I was maliciously advised to do something that was detrimental to me in order to get me out of the honors program is a defensible claim that I have. So I'm looking for an educational lawyer to help me with that. And it gets better because this program wanted to achieve gravitas by cutting out the, the ability to obtain this degree without the honors component. When they booted me out and did what they did and gave me a degree anyway, my first question was, why does my degree, when I go online and look at it after I got it, say subject to change? What is subject to change? Either I have the degree or I don't. What's subject to change? So I wrote three or four different entities at this campus, what does this mean? No one answered me. So then when I didn't get answers from anybody, I said, you know what? I'm going to talk to the education OIG and, and report this as an issue. So I did. So a year and a half later, I have um, people saying, oh, well, your SAP appeal has been denied. Why did I have a SAP appeal? Because... As a graduate student, I had a couple of issues where I had hardships. One was the Israeli war, and one was uh, that impacted me. And then the other one was um, being married to the wrong person for three months, which threw off a semester. But I, I caught up, and I um, so my SAP appeal was agreed to for the summer. So the summer I was on a probationary summer. So for and I had to take at least six units. Well, guess what? That school only offered one three-unit course that had anything to do with my degree, and it can only have two electives as a graduate at that school. So my electives were used up with the Russian and things like that. So I didn't have any electives. So there's no way to take six units and not have some violation happen because that thing has nothing to do with my degree. So I could have played this stupid game just to get six units or told them the truth, which I did. So when I called up, the financial aid, they said, oh, don't worry about it, no problem, da 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 next thing I know, I see my set appeal has been denied. Why? Well, a year and a half later, the federal government has just gotten around to assessing what 
the issue is why I made this complaint about this school. So this is retaliation. And now they have put a code in that makes it appear as if I can't get any more financial aid at any school, which is a farce because uh, you can always change schools. But they are doing everything in their power to be retaliatory. And I'm looking for a lawyer because that would be the fastest way of curing this problem forever. One lawyer with some guts in Texas. And ironically, it's very hard to find a lawyer with guts in Texas because my experience has been that there must be something in the bar that, that you know, forces one to sell their soul because I have never met anyone with the guts to take on any of the cases that I've ever had. So I've done them all pro se and every single thing that I have been able to have heard, I have won. But this is something that involves education and I think that some lawyer this school has lost many, many cases, so I'm not too worried about finding a lawyer. I need this on contingency, and I need it as close to immediately as humanly possible. So if you are an education lawyer and you are able to practice in the state of Texas, please contact me. Please share this because um, this could happen to someone else and they would be, you know, having a 911 incident on the edge of a bridge somewhere. That's not uh, my issue. My issue is that I could have two degrees that are meaningless or a degree and a half that are meaningless because of the way that they were given to me and the way politics was played and the way um, people suffer for not towing the party line in academia. And this is before October 7th, so I really was kind of... Uh, surprise because this is Texas and I'm not in Austin so I don't see why there's any uh, credibility given to any of these ideations that these people had against the idea that uh, European indigenous people exist but whatever their agenda is I'm not afraid of them so I need someone who can be available to come to court in the state of Texas against a college and be prepared to win. That's what I need. It's not a difficult case. And I think just from what I've said here that you should be able to discern whether or not you can take it. Uh, I don't have the 350 to pay someone to say, well, you know, I really don't feel like getting up in the morning and driving to that jurisdiction or what. Um, so there's that. Okay, TikTok, do your magic. Please help. Please share. It doesn't matter. Non-lawyers, let's try to make it viral. Um, you know, because I'm not like the rest of those students, you know. I'm a fighter, and I stand up to things that I see that are wrong. And um, I've done that my whole life, which is why my left eye isn't tracked like my right eye. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I can be polite, but I'm not demure about these types of things. You know, polite, civil professional, but not in your but highly mindful, very mindful of the fact that they have violated every possible law, including retaliation. So someone who's passed the bar in Texas with, you know, enough guts to show up to court, please contact me. All the best.